Good morning, YouTube. This is uh, that guy always fixing something that's always seems to break. Um, welcome to my channel. I've only had a few things on here in the past several years, so figured uh, I'm out here working on the snowblower because they're protecting some snow coming in this weekend. So I figured, well, better go ahead and start it up, get it running. Now, what I'm working with here was a good old yard machine by MDT. <clears throat> Uh, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. Just happen to have this uh, unit around. Uh, it is a uh, eight horse, twenty four inch, so it does its job when it works. Um, and I haven't had really any issues with it, other than uh, need to uh, oil it up and get it running. Um, I got it off of a gentleman that had it for years, used it. It just you know kind of cumbersome for some folks, and they're like, nah. You know what? I can get something smaller. Doesn't snow enough as it used to, but that's okay. Climate change. Um, so, figured I'd go ahead and uh, videotape this. And I got it fired up. And I'll show you here. Well, maybe if I get my clips to work. Here's the unit. Pretty nice size unit. Augers work. It starts up. Wonderful thing about this, it is electric start. So I can electric start it all day long if I want to. But today, I decided I'm going to electric start it and uh, then try to pull start it, which I've never had really any success with pull starting it because uh, replaced the carburetor, got it all cleaned out. That's another video I'll probably show somewhere down the road and um yes so i've been just taking a cord lecture starting it and getting it going right now i decided i'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to pull it but guess what my pull string broke so luckily for me it broke in my hand so all the pieces are still there i'm just going to mend it and retry it so a lot of people i talk to have a lot of problems with uh with this where it's their lawnmower it's their you know, weed whacker it's their snowblower and the first thing they are saying well darn it this thing is broken let me go and pay somebody to do this or you know what put it on the curb somebody will pick it up it's their problem um, fortunately for me, a lot of those issues are, hmm, that's their problem. So I seem to pick up a lot of cool things, um, when it's their problem. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this. And let me show you just real quick on this guy here. You know, it's got four bolts, as you can see. One, two, down below there's two more. You really can't get a good look on that. Don't want to hurt your neck looking for it. So, got that already off. That's what we're looking at right there. Flywheel. This is what we're looking right here. Is the unit that's causing the problem. And if you look closer and closer and closer, you can see where the cable came apart. So basically, inside this unit here is a spring. So what we want to do, and as you can kind of see, see that when you turn it, that spring grabs out those little pegs jump out and they grab that unit inside there and spin that sucker around okay so it starts up so a lot of people are kind of concerned and leery on messing with these because of the spring is loaded in here and if you don't get it in just right it's hard to, to play with the spring sometimes you have to just buy a whole nother unit if that spring broke all together I think I'm going to get lucky enough and I'm going to feed the end right back in here. I'm going to take my time and precision and get it to line right back up to that. I'm going to pull it through, tie a big old giant knot in it and test it out. At the same time, you want to spin this back to get the thing in place. So what I'll do is I'll do that and I'll come right back.